In this video, we will start with the introduction to embedded systems, talking about hardware and software. We will talk about how and why embedded systems make it possible for the devices to become smarter. Then we will briefly discuss about how to develop such systems, though we will not get into the details. Later, we will talk about some best practices to develop embedded systems that perform safety and critical functions, such as the ones in your car, train, or an aeroplane, and conclude with a summary. We live in a world where almost every aspect of our lives is controlled by technology. Let us assume you want to visit a friend living in another city. You start with searching the best way to get there on your smartphone. You buy your train or flight ticket online. You clear the security through face recognition system at the airport. Upon arriving at the destination city, unlock your rental car with your phone and drive down to your friend's place with turn-by-turn -turn navigation on your car while also enjoying the music from your own playlist. Can you imagine the level of technology behind the scenes that makes this entire experience as smooth and as enjoyable as it can be? The devices that you have used all along, such as smartphones, smartwatches, onboard navigation and infotainment system in your car, etc., are purpose-built computers that are called as embedded systems. Let us move on to look into the components of an embedded system. If you ever have seen what's inside a TV or a smartphone, you will find many wires and cables connected to printed circuit board. The circuit usually consists of many electronic components such as resistors, capacitors, transistors and integrated circuits. Most smart devices include a microprocessor or a microcontroller, which is the brain of the system. However, what really drives the system is the computer program executed by the microprocessor. This is called embedded software. And this is where all the intelligence and the smartness of the system comes from. Let's talk a bit more about this next. Software, to put it simply, is a set of data and instructions for the computer, which, when executed by the microprocessor, provides computation results. Embedded software is product-specific software that appropriately controls devices such as home appliances or other industrial equipment. Unlike the PC software, embedded software is specifically built for the hardware it runs on and shipped along with the device by its manufacturer. Embedded software is designed to ensure the correct functionality of the system under various conditions of operations. The embedded software monitors the user interaction with the system, its environment, and operational conditions as well as the failure conditions of the hardware, such that the system can be brought down to a safe state and user is informed of the current situation. Let's see this with a familiar example of a washing machine. Washing machines have built-in software specifically designed to control the entire washing cycle. Thanks to this embedded software, you can just select the settings from the user interface such as the intensity of wash, temperature or the kind of clothes and let the machine perform the wash, rinse and dry cycle automatically as per your preference. The machine knows how to perform the job by filling the drum with the appropriate amount of water plus detergent as per the load. It can heat the water to required temperature based on the kind of clothes. 
The machine spins the drum clockwise and counterclockwise repeatedly until the clothes are cleaned. Then it rinses the clothes with clean water. It can automatically open and close the water inlets and outlets as needed during the process. Then the machine spins the drum at high speed to dry the clothes. Of course, this is a simplistic explanation of what a washing machine can do. There are modern machines that can perform a lot more functionalities than we discussed here. This entire process of washing clothes requires a lot of low level knowledge such as the amount of water needed to wash, what would be the right temperature and how fast to spin the drum depending on the kind of clothes. Not just that, during the washing process, the water pressure may become too low or there may be other interruptions such as power failure or someone opening the door, etc. The machine should know what to do in all such cases and control the situation as far as possible to provide the best experience to humans. If there are any failures detected, machine should inform the user through helpful messages so that an expert can fix those issues later. In addition to these functionalities, when something is not right, you might have seen these machines display error codes such as error 17, error 21, etc. These are messages intended for the service technician so that they can understand what went wrong and where to look for the problem and finally fix it. A typical embedded software includes all these capabilities including the self-diagnostics. Now you know why the embedded software is called the brain of the system.